Hello and welcome to another teaching from 119 Ministries. Our ministry believes that the whole Bible is true and directly related to our lives today. If you would like to know more about what we believe and teach, please visit us at testeverything.net. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel by hitting the button down below. We hope that you enjoy studying and testing the following teaching. Sometimes understanding the intent of our Creator's commandments is not always intuitive and requires some careful consideration and thought. For example, Deuteronomy 22 appears to instruct a woman to marry her rapist. Deuteronomy 22 If a man meets a virgin who is not betrothed, and seizes her, and lies with her, and they are found, then the man who lay with her shall give to the father of the young woman fifty shekels of silver, and she shall be his wife because he has violated her. He may not divorce her all of his days. This verse should be compared to Exodus 22 verses 16 through 17. If a man seduces a virgin who is not betrothed and lies with her, he shall give the bride price for her and make her his wife. If her father utterly refuses to give her to him, he shall pay money equal to the bride price for virgins. Deuteronomy 22 verses 28 through 29 is not talking about rape, but fornication between a man and a woman. Depending on which English translations you use, the text can be a bit misleading, especially the NIV. But when the rest of the context is considered, it is clear that this passage is about fornication, not rape. Deuteronomy states, if they are found out, meaning caught fornicating, the man has no choice but to pay the dowry to her father and marry her, just like what it says to do in Exodus. Consider verses 25 through 27 of the same chapter in Deuteronomy. But if in the open country a man meets a young woman who is betrothed, and the man seizes her and lies with her, then only the man who lay with her shall die. But you shall do nothing to the young woman. She has committed no offense punishable by death. For this case is like that of a man attacking and murdering his neighbor, because he met her in the open country, and though the betrothed young woman cried for help, there was no one to rescue her. The implication here is that the betrothed woman is being forced to have sex without her consent, hence the fact that the text even mentions she cried for help. In verses 28 through 29, however, there is no mention of the woman crying for help thus indicating that the woman of verses 28 through 29 willfully chose to have sex. Moreover, both parties are held accountable in the case of fornication because it's consensual. In the case of rape, however, only the man is punished. When the Bible is referring to rape, the text uses a completely different word for forces her. Instead, Deuteronomy 22 verse 28 uses a word that is most commonly interpreted as takes. The Hebrew word tapas means to take hold of something, to grasp it in hand, and, by application, to capture or seize something. In Genesis 4.21, for example, it is used for handling the flute. That coupled with the fact that the verse says, if they be found, implying both were guilty, this verse obviously refers to consensual sex. It's similar to what we nowadays call a shotgun wedding. They had to get married. We hope that this clears up the common confusion surrounding this verse, and we hope that this teaching has blessed you, and remember, continue to test everything. Shalom.
It is because of you, our generous supporters, who make it possible to offer these high quality teachings completely free of charge. If you feel led to support 119 Ministries so that we can continue this effort, please visit testeverything.net and click on the Support 119 tab. Learn how you can partner with us to take the whole Word of God to the nations.